My father noticed at first that I had a natural rhythm and that's where it sparked off. I started basically copying it from television. In those years we only used to have Indian classical forms shown on the television. And for a boy to copy dance from television, they just thought it was a bit odd. But strangely my father saw the interest I had and they put me in the right channel and classes. So I had a very good guru. I am trained mainly in Indian classical dance forms and I specialized in Kathak and Bharatanatyam. These were my two main classical forms. At this moment in time, in this region, I'm specialized in Bollywood because that is what is happening in the region. It's a fever. So at this moment in time, I'm in Leeds, Yorkshire. Never knew I would be here. I love the place. I breathe the place and um, uh, I teach Indian dance and promote Indian dance culture in the region. Every class has uh, a body conditioning warm-up because it's so important to blood circulation to go everywhere and you can feel the fire, it just starts off. And then of course they do a, a traveling sequence because dancing in space is so important. Dancing around people, dancing in small, small space, large space. So all that awareness is created within the class. So people know how much they should move, how much they should not. And so there are lots of um, norms but at the same time they're broken eh, very subtly so they have the freedom to move the way they want to and then they do a set routine as well and the set routine eh, is balanced in such a way that it is hard challenging it is always changing I've noticed in whatever my experience is and I've also also noticed in recent work which I've seen in Bollywood as well and the recent work which I create that how I put the real movement in it and how I make it real and how I make it um, their own because there are students who create the movement and it changes, it changes, uh, it takes another form and it's so hard to define it and that's why it becomes a, a pure movement which is complete ownership of the learner. So yes, it is changing, I'm sure it's going to change more. How many times? Four. To the knee, to the heart, to flutter, to the straight, flat, to the knee, to the heart. Remember? Because initially in Bollywood cinema, you would see purely Indian classical dance. And then gently, these folk dances were blended in. And then uh, in the last seven, eight years, the westernization in the Bollywood industry, the movements have changed and they have enhanced and they become very contemporary as well. And that's why I would say I'm a contemporary Bollywood dance artist. At this moment in time, I would say uh, Bollywood dance is really high and up and going uh, for the reason that people get opportunities to perform for shows and corporate bodies and productions. And uh, I think people dance to get away from norm, normal nine to five lives. Uh, there are so many people from the community who would do it. There are young people who would do it because they, they want to show off, there's talent, there, uh, there's opportunity. And that is what dance creates that for them. I trained as an Indian classical dancer. And, um, and at some point, I just felt that no, I'm not growing in India. And that for that growth I came, because I like to grow. Because I have done Bollywood movies, then what? Where does my creation go? What inspires me? And that's very important. And I think those avenues were not available for me, being in a top city called Bombay. And uh, whatever we had a little bit was very monotonous and you get bored with it, you need change. And I think for that change I came to the United Kingdom where I got, went to the Northern School of Contemporary Dance. 
Well, I went to the Birkbeck College and they thought I, I would be a very great contemporary dancer. So anyway, I moved over there and then I thought, it's great training, brilliant support they gave us to me, uh, but how I would mould it to make it mine. Because every dance artist, would, they would own their own work. And I think that is where I, I, I felt, no, this is, where I, this is my chance to fuse and influence others and still respecting that modern ballet background, whatever contemporary modern dance they have. But let me see if I could blend it and just mix it and see how it comes out to be. And that's what I'm doing at this moment. And that's what I plan to do for a little time.